and gentlemen, boys and girls, Minecrafters of all ages, welcome back to our Minecraft Bedrock Survival Let's Play. As you guys can see, I'm out here in the end. I've uh, revamped the uh, Shulker Farm. Oh, the new mechanics. <laughs> I've uh, revamped the uh, Shulker Farm, and I, I only did a quarter of the actual farm design and, and, and it's slightly different here I've got more glass I didn't bring any materials with me um, I don't know what I was thinking I thought uh, I would have enough here and I do some materials and not others so we got oh man this is this is nice this is gonna hold us over for a long while and I mean I, I barely just got this thing done and set up ready to go so yeah i think uh just a quarter of the farm is pretty good for here i mean eventually we'll probably come back out and finish building it just to have it done um got our one choker reloader right here could potentially go ahead and get another one over on this side just so that we got it and you know we're all good ready to go but uh we have been doing a lot of stuff um on stream and off camera in this world and I think uh, you know it's about time to you know those of you who just watched the videos uh, get a little bit of an update on what's going on and let's take a look at uh, all the progress we got uh, first off I'm gonna meet you back in the overworld at the stronghold base alright now that we've got our uh, shulker backup shulk, empty shulker spot fixed and set up uh, I don't think I've really shown you guys what's going on behind this door or at least not for a very long time uh, we've got a lot of stuff that's gonna happen in here but this nether wart farm here uh, it's expanded <laughs> over time I don't think you guys have uh, seen that at all and that's uh, oops operating doors um, that allows me to come over here sell them to the clerics especially with the recent villager nerfs um, I get almost a shulker full of uh, nether wart which is enough to go through a trade cycle with these guys and then have a little bit left over um, now you guys seen uh, you know if you if you haven't been watching the streams you'll know that uh, you, you won't know unless you've been watching that uh, we had a mishap with our silk touch netherite pickaxe I actually we were talking about villagers and stuff on stream and I wasn't paying attention to durability I knew it was low and I just kept going until it broke <laughs> so now we just have a diamond silk touch pickaxe which it is fine for the time being but here's the thing with the new template being added in 120 um, we need the smithing template to upgrade our gear which we don't have um, so we'll have to find a bastion that we haven't been to in order to, to get that and I mean we have netherite scraps uh, we have enough netherite scraps right there to convert it over but uh, we definitely need to definitely need to get that taken care of and then the next thing I need to show you guys that we've been very busy on is actually this way into the nether all right here in the nether this uh, project that uh, we have been working on um, as you can see we decided to go ahead and on the stream we added these cobblestone outlines here to make it a little bit easier to tell uh, where the ends of everything was whoa let's fly a little bit straighter than that and we whoa this little one wide tunnel just um it's gonna kill me <laughs> and we dug out a lot a lot 
of uh, stuff here over a couple streams and one of the really cool things is that uh, in this area uh, we had mentioned I had showed you guys about this project a while back but there's actually a nether fortress right there which is technically a lot closer than the one that we actually use but it's actually going to be in our little farm area so that is going to work out perfect uh, for a wither skeleton farm as soon as we get to that point so I think you know basically focusing on half of the farm you know nether farming area or a quadrant of it and then coming back and working on more later and extending it out is probably going to be the way to go just so that we can start getting things uh, rolling the way that we want them to and then uh, we got another thing <laughs> if we uh, come back not there we'll just kind of go around this way our whoa oh we passed it our port our way to our portal for our ocean monument base that we've been working on comes through there comes through here oh my goodness this glitch is back again <laughs> Can't sprint and jump in the two tall tunnels without suffocating. Oh, I am there. So we'll come in here and take a look at this stuff. And we actually, on a YouTube stream, uh, designed the bare bones um, of the structure here. Oh, had a pillager captain up there. He just despawned. Um, so in each one of these uh, towers, these are the surrounding the guardian spawn spots so we went ahead and went up to the uh, with the towers the height of those pillars and the walls go slightly lower um, but again that's just this is just a bare bones design and I'm really happy with how this come out uh, be sure to check out the uh, YouTube live streams it the Wednesday and Sunday streams are reserved for Forever Bedrock, but it, you know, on the off chance that I get to do one on a Monday or Friday or Saturday, um, this is uh, this is what we'll be working on is uh, figuring out how to start processing those guardians and capping off those towers is going to be the next step. Uh, before we even worry about any of the decors or the details or anything like that we want to get uh, the guardian drops coming in so we're collecting them while we're here working on this thing so I mean this is a huge project and we still have a ton more to do back at the stronghold base and I think it's a good idea to head back there now I mean we definitely need to work on some bulk storage as well our stronghold base needs a lot of work um, this is the entrance to where we go down and do our mining which we haven't really bothered lighting up to the to the extremes because we don't really have like a farm here for it to be necessary but uh, all this needs to be done and then when we come upstairs this area here needs to be done this is just the other side of our bedroom that's what that door is that you guys see all the time and then up these stairs uh, which is just parallel to these stairs here we have this little area here and I think this is going to be a great spot to do our bulk storage we can just kind of oh, throw these chests in here like so and We'll make it a couple high. Uh, we can get too high in the back because of the lights and everything. And we'll leave us 
face so that we can get through and we'll come through with another row of chests like this and this will I think this will be a good spot to keep our bulk storage uh, for a while um, until we get to the point where we need like storage stylos and stuff like that but I don't think we're gonna really need store silos with uh, the shulker farm I mean we can just load up shulkers and throw them in the chest and throw them in here and it should be good to go right let's uh, get that these ones here and one more set here and boom so we can just get our shulkers fill it up uh, probably start you know here at the front and if it like say we have a shulker full of cobblestone if we throw it in there when we hover over the shulkers we can just kind of go through and say all right this is cobblestone so on so on so on like it, it'll be pretty I mean it'll take a little bit of time to sort through and who knows maybe we'll end up putting item frames on and saying just like this chest is uh, or signs we have edible signs now um, we can actually use uh, honey to lock them so maybe, maybe that's what we do maybe we put signs on them and honey them and you know it just says cobblestone and then in here we just have chokers full of cobblestone and this one will say you know whatever the case may be I think dirt and cobblestone are probably like our most abundant things and then if we come this way we have this area here this I'm not a hundred percent sure about um, we'll probably have some kind of something here I, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure I still haven't completely figured out like these little odd spaces um, but we've got this little area here that we can work with we've got this long haul here that uh, kind of does like this little twist and turn down into here this is where I was talking about if we decided to collect every item in the game we would kind of just wrap it around um, but I mean we could potentially just you know leave that as is if we can't figure anything out and then we have like this whole area here which has a lot to offer as well back upstairs here if we go around this side of our farm I need to get a light in like right here somewhere uh, just to get rid of that torch probably get a lantern and put there I think would be all right uh, we've got this little area here it's got some nooks and crannies uh, I was gonna use those little spots to have different villagers spread around and whatnot but it just it never turned out to be that uh, we ended up doing just like the one little trade stop so we could do the curing stuff that has since been <laughs> revamped uh, we got this little area here to do stuff with and then back in here we have this area that we could do stuff with like we still have a lot of uh, stuff a lot of room to do things in here and then if we come down the stairs here we've got basically you know this walkway we've got another little deal like that we've got this a little walk around here and this room here which I think we had talked about possibly doing bulk storage down here before, at one point in time uh, but I don't think we need to come all the way down here for that and then of course that little you know could stay as is alright um, back our sugar cane farm there and then we have our bamboo farm here uh, there's MPS down those stairs 
and through here we have our kelp farm which just happened to harvest and here we have our brewing area which we still need to finish but then down here we have this whole open area to do stuff with as well I mean so if you have any kind of uh, suggestions let me know in the comments below I I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say I, I have some ideas for some of the spaces some of them I, I I haven't come up with any viable ideas and it, it's kind of you know I would like to get this done before we move into the uh, ocean monument base and we have a long ways to go on finishing the ocean monument base don't get me wrong but you know getting this complete would be nice as well I mean there's a lot of other big projects we have going on in the world that you know we'll be working on for a while but also you know we have a lot of things that we talked about doing that we just haven't gotten to yet and I would like to get to some of those as well I mean we have some of the we haven't we haven't explored the deep dark we haven't found a woodland mansion uh, actually we have a map for woodland mansion that we could potentially go do that if you guys would like to see that uh, real soon uh, let me know again any kind of suggestions or whatever with these rooms greatly appreciated and I think the Woodland Mansion is pretty high up on the list of things to do because it's something we haven't done yet and just kind of getting the stronghold base tidy, tidied up and ready to go I almost forgot our entrance coming down from the village above we've got we've got this space here that we need to do something with whether we just decorate it or make it functional um, and, and some of these spots that aren't out of the way I think decorational is okay but if it's out of the way I think it needs to have a purpose you know what I mean so try and keep that in mind when you guys uh, come together and help me come up with these ideas on what to do with these things and I mean hey you guys have helped shape the the way this world looks and works for a very long time and that's going to continue to happen and I mean for the record this is still uh, I don't know I, I don't know what it is the mystical look of this portal room uh, this is still my favorite well I know it's been a while since uh, we were able to be in this world together in a video <laughs> so I thought it was about time that we made this happen don't worry ultra hardcore is still here uh, we are taking a little bit of a break from it though uh, while I get my technical stuff straightened out just to make sure I'm all good and able to actually uh, do that without any problems uh, as soon as I get my technical stuff straightened out we'll get another ultra hardcore episode out as well but in the meantime forever bedrock and I mean the core of our channel our let's play series right I mean those are the forever bedrock and this world here are our two primary primary things that we like to focus on and don't forget hit that like button share the video with your friends we're on the road to 500 you can make that happen and remember to always keep mining and crafting Hit that subscribe button and I will see each and every one of you in the next video.